What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about stacking silver and also gold, but ordering it on the internet and there being some privacy concerns or issues. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Crack and Stack and T-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug, as well as the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tee, available in orange, gray, and purple. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about ordering silver online. Whether you're shopping with Atmax or JM Bullion or Provident or SD or Modern Coin Mart or even eBay for that matter. I want to talk about ordering silver online. Typically paying with either a credit card, a debit card, or a check. Those are the main ways of doing that. I don't think you can mail any of those places cash. But I wanted to talk about this today, and today's video was actually inspired by another overtaxed taxpayer's more recent video talking about something similar. I watched it. It was more so in reference to privacy from the government, because that's a concern for some people, not really mine. But I wanted to talk about this today, and by the way, in case anybody wants to watch overtaxed video, I'll leave it linked in the description. That way you get two different points of views. And if you guys have never heard of overtaxed before, you might want to go to the doctor because something might be wrong with you. I want to start prepping and stacking silver um, and you're going to love it. But moving forward, I wanted to talk about this today because it's a real concern. It's not something that I've really been asked in a really long time. The last time somebody asked me about alternative ways to getting silver, it had to have been last year. It's been a really long time since I've received a comment from somebody who was genuinely afraid to order silver online for privacy concerns or there being some type of issue. I haven't really gotten that in a very long time. I just figured this would probably be a good video to talk about because there might be some new people who are stacking. Maybe it's on their mind. Maybe it's something that they've been thinking about or worrying about. So that's what I want to talk about today. Again, if you want to see overtax point of view, regarding privacy from the government, which some people are genuinely afraid of, go watch that video. That's not what this one's going to be about. This video is going to be talking about more so credit cards, debit cards, checks, and when it arrives either on your doorstep or mailbox or whatever. That's what I wanted to talk about today. So a lot of people in the past were concerned about this because they thought that by using a credit card or a debit card, they could either, I don't know, maybe get some of their information sold to some third-party thing and then somebody steals their credit card information. That is obviously possible. Very, very, very unlikely. You're actually technically more likely to get your information stolen by using a check than a credit card. But checks typically... That's an easier and less expensive way of getting some silver and gold online. If you go to almost any precious metal dealing website, you will see that different types of payments result in your grand total being a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on how you're paying. Your, your method of payment really determines how much you're actually going to be paying. So when it comes to a credit card, you're probably gonna be paying a little bit higher. At least if it's a precious metal website, if it's Atmax, JM Bullion, SD, Provident Metal, any of those guys, yeah, it's going to be a little bit higher. I would assume the transaction fee or the merchant fee or, or, or whatever it's referred to as drives it up a little bit. Now that's not typical when buying things online. If you were to go to Target's website or any other website out there, I've never seen that before. It's always been the exact same dollar amount no matter what your method of payment is. But for online precious metal dealers, it's a little bit higher if you're paying with a card. Regardless of if it's a credit card or a debit card. Doesn't matter. It's going to be a little bit higher. Usually. Not always, but usually. Now if you're going to be paying with a check, this is usually the cheapest way to go. It's also, unfortunately, the 
longest amount of time you're going to have to be waiting for. You got to mail them a check and you can also do bank wire, but I think it needs to be like a really high dollar amount. So for the average Joe, for people like me, for people like you who are probably only picking up maybe a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars worth at a time, you're probably not going to be wiring over 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars. I have no idea how much it would need to be. So for the people like us who are only picking up maybe 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 ounces at a time, it's essentially irrelevant. So with a check, you got to write out the check. You got to send it to them. They got to approve it. They got to cash it. They got to send it to you. So you're going to be looking at a little bit more time. If you're not someone in a rush to get the physical silver in your possession immediately or as close to immediately as possible, it's really not that big of a deal. Because guess what? If you're going to be paying with a credit card or a debit card, you're probably going to have to wait about a week, week and a half anyway. If you're paying with a check, what are you going to have to wait? I've never paid with a check before, so I've, I have no idea. Maybe it'll take two and a half, three weeks. It really doesn't matter. Your order is locked in place. When your order has been placed, you're going to be paying whatever spot price is at the time plus a premium. So if spot price goes up three, four, five dollars, it's not like, oh yeah, you paid with a check and spot price has gone up since then. Therefore, now you got to send us a little bit more cash. It doesn't work that way. So there's pros and cons to both credit cards, much, much, much quicker, but it's a little bit more expensive. Checks take a bit longer, but it's a little bit less expensive. But when it comes to privacy, a lot of people don't like the internet. They don't like their computer or their phone or the digital space knowing their involvement in the precious metal markets. They don't want people knowing that they're stacking silver. They don't want people knowing that they're collecting coins or have all these silver and gold bars in their house. They don't want anybody knowing. They prefer to just get it all in person, cash transactions where there's no paper trail from their local coin shop where they can just hand over a little bit of cash and they can grab a little bit of silver or gold and be on their way and nobody knows. However, there is minor inconsistency with that way of thinking. The reason I say that is because oftentimes the people who absolutely refuse to let the internet know that silver and gold plays a role in their life, they'll go run over to the coin shop with some cash, they'll make a cash transaction, no paper trail, and then they'll come home, log on to their YouTube account, and tell everybody in the comments what silver and gold they just picked up. I don't think that's an issue, but if you think placing an order online is an issue, but then we'll go and do that, it seems a little inconsistent in my opinion and from my perspective. It really doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. But if you're going to sign into your YouTube account, which is owned by Google, which is on the internet, to talk about your silver and your gold, I'm going to be honest with you. Something tells me putting your business out there on the internet, which you can delete your comment if you want. It's nothing on the internet really gets erased. Something tells me that that's not nearly as safe as just making an online transaction. I could be wrong. Obviously, I have no issue with it. I talk about silver and gold every day. I make whole videos about it. I comment on other people's videos about it. I have an Instagram page where I post pictures of the coins. I do live streams. Which, by the way, tonight's live stream will be held in the VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. And it's not just privately held live streams. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, and you can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. Link in the description. But point being is I talk about silver and gold online every single day, 365 days a year. If that was a genuine concern, I would not be doing this. That is not something that I am afraid of. That's not something that matters to me. Now, if it matters to you, you probably 
have no way of letting me know because you wouldn't be leaving a comment, I guess. But point I'm trying to make is I don't think there should be any concern, at least for that. If you think some average Joe is going to track you down because of your YouTube comment and, and break into your house, I, I don't think that's an issue. And I also don't think that these online precious metal dealers are sending any information to any particular entity, letting them know, Hey, John Smith just picked up two 10-ounce sunshine bars. Go get them. I don't think that's the case. I don't think our information could be sent to anyone and whoever would receive that information, I don't think that would even matter to them. Because let's be honest, we're the little guys. You really think they care about the little guys? Whoever they, I hear the word they. Oh, they're gonna do this, or they want you to do this, or they're trying to tell you this, or they don't want you to talk about this. I don't know who this they is, but whatever. You really think anybody is gonna come after you over a little bit of silver and gold? I personally don't think so. And if I thought so, I wouldn't be documenting it and plastering it all over the internet where hundreds, sometimes thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of people watch the videos. I would not be doing this if that was a genuine concern of mine. Speaking of that, I'm pretty sure I have a video that's over 100,000 views. I think it's going on 150,000 views or something like that. Point being is a lot of people watch some of these videos. If I was genuinely concerned, I wouldn't be putting it on the internet. If I was genuinely concerned, I wouldn't be ordering the silver online. Of course, there are some other measures you can take. For example... Here's something that'll cost you a higher dollar amount, but could potentially be a little safer. I don't know. I just thought of it today when I was conceptualizing what I was going to do in today's video. I was thinking, I was like, well, this will cost a little bit, but you could always go to the store and with, with your cash, by the way, go to the store with your cash, buy a Visa gift card, which by the way, is not going to be an exact conversion. You don't just take a $20 bill and trade it for a $20 Visa gift card. There is an activation fee. And then you can use that gift card to order your silver online just to avoid your bank account being involved. Technically, you could do that. But again, that's a card. Doesn't matter if it's a credit card, a debit card, a gift card, it's a card. There's going to be a transaction fee or a merchant fee, so it will cost a little bit more. On top of it costing a little bit more just to give the gift card in the first place. So that doesn't sound very logical. That doesn't sound financially logical, at least. Not to me, anyway, in my opinion and from my perspective. By the way, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. So don't take it as financial advice. This is just my opinion and and speculation and for entertainment purposes only. But that is technically an idea. You could do that. But where are you going to get it sent to? Probably your address. So that kind of contradicts the whole point of using the gift card in the first place to avoid your bank account being involved. Okay, you got your bank information hidden, but now you got your home address. You can get it sent to a P.O. box. That's what I do for stuff that's a little bit more expensive. If I'm buying a phone case, sure, that'll be in my mailbox. But if I'm going to be ordering something that I know costs quite a bit of dollar bills, and if I know that I'm probably not going to be home, and I don't really want that sitting in the mailbox or on the front porch, I'm probably going to have it sent to my P.O. box for safety purposes. Not for a privacy concern, but somebody walking past can just snatch that off the porch. And I got surveillance cameras all over the house, inside and outside. 24-hour surveillance. Cameras don't stop idiots. 
point being is I am truly not concerned. If I was concerned, I would not be using the internet to acquire as much silver and gold as I've been over the last couple of years. And I for sure would not be plastering and, and documenting it all on the internet as well. So in my opinion and from my perspective, it's not something to worry about. I feel completely safe using the internet to order and acquire and talk about my precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. Don't forget, the next one will be tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's not just live streams, it's also giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tea available in orange, purple, and gray. Only available this month for really just the next week. So get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Do not forget, I will be including another Overtax Taxpayers video in the description as well in case you want to watch that. It's only a couple minutes long, and he was talking about privacy issues and privacy concerns from a different perspective and covering different topics, so it might be worth a watch for you. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on all of these online precious metal dealers? Do you avoid them for any reason? Is there anything that concerns you when it comes to ordering your silver and your gold via the internet? Do you avoid it? Is it something that you don't agree with? Is it something that you are afraid of? Is it something that doesn't make sense to you? Maybe you don't want to pay with a credit card or a debit card because it costs a little bit more, but you don't want to use a check for a certain reason as well. Maybe you're somebody who gets all of your silver and gold on the internet. Maybe it doesn't concern you in the slightest bit. Maybe you're perfectly fine ordering your silver online. Maybe you don't even have a local coin shop in your area. I do, but mine's been closed for the last six plus months because of this friggin' shutdown thing. So online makes the most sense right now for me, in my opinion and from my perspective. That's all this video is. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts, your ideas. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.